Get my cutter, get my torch. Pour a beverage and I step out on the porch. Grab a cigar, I love that view. I guess it's time for another poolside cigar review. <laughs> How you doing, everybody? Welcome back to another weeknight edition of Poolside Cigar Reviews with Kirk. Today I'm kicking back with an Alec Bradley New York. This is a great cigar. And to me, it's got tons of chocolate and coffee. You know, this is a really, to me, a very dessert-heavy stick. I think this is a great cigar. You know, um, it's kind of a hybrid between the, the Prensado and the Tempest. And those are both cigars that I really like. I probably prefer the Tempest more. But honestly, at this point, I think I prefer the New York to both of those. I just, I love the flavors of the New York. So it's a discontinued cigar. So if you can find one, I'd say get your hands on it, give it a try. Uh, so that way you can buy up what's left. You know, a lot of the online retailers still have them. Uh, some of your shops might have them. So definitely, uh, definitely check it out. I think this is a great cigar. And any time that there's, I have a cigar that uh, is really heavy with coffee and chocolate. I just think that pairs great with uh, with a nice stout beer. I don't know if I would call this a nice stout beer. It's a uh, Guinness Extra Stout in the bottle. You know, this was um, this was the beer that really turned me into a beer drinker. Actually, I haven't had a bottle of this in maybe eight or nine years. It's been a long time since I've had a Guinness Extra Stout. It's just not something that I normally buy anymore. But, uh, I mean, it's got some flavor. It definitely pairs nicely with the cigar, but the, the, it, the mouth feels really thin. Um, I don't know. It tastes almost like it's forced carbonated. Um, thin mouthfeel. It's got some roasted malt flavor. Um, it's just kind of bland, honestly. It's it's a for for an extra stout. It's just kind of bland. And uh, I mean, I, even since I started drinking craft beer, I, I mean, I think uh, boy, brewing it just is, I think brewing has come a long way. And I think there's just a ton of great beer on the market right now. So something like a Guinness Extra Stout just doesn't appeal anymore. Um, because number one, I've had a bunch of it, so it's not interesting. You know, I've kind of lost interest. And uh, I just think there's better options. Although, I mean, I don't think it's overly expensive. My wife bought a six pack of this because she got like a, some kind of like a beef stew pot pie recipe that she's gonna that, that called for, for Guinness Extra Stout. Which I'm sure will be delicious. You know, I, I've made uh, stews and pot pies with, with Guinness before. And it always turns out great, so I'm looking forward to it. But I thought I'd have a bottle tonight with my uh, Alec Brother New York, and that wasn't a mistake. You know, I, I, uh, it's a funny story. I started drinking Guinness. Um, I'll go ahead and wrap myself out. Like most of you probably started drinking when you're underage. Uh, I did too. Uh, but when I was uh, just about ready to graduate high school, my parents moved away and I got an apartment with a friend of mine. And uh, he was a year older, but we had older friends too. But you know, when, when you're that age, when you're you know, 17, 18 years old and you have your own apartment, you're gonna have a lot of parties. Whether you wanna have them or not, people are coming over and you're gonna have a good time. And uh, you know, our refrigerator, we, you know, we've been, we both, uh, at that point, yeah, at that point I was working, I had a job, so I had some money, but our refrigerator looked like some kind of MTV Cribs thing, like it was, there was like no food in the house, it was just beer, and, uh, and, you know, my roommate and I, we, we were both friends, but we kind of ran in different circles, so a lot of times, like if I was out of the house, he might have friends over, I might have friends over, and basically what would happen is all the beer in the fridge would get, uh, would just, they would just drink all the beer in the fridge. Which normally I didn't care because we would, you know, we would always split it. We always, we know it wasn't, we, n neither of us, I think, took advantage of the other. But uh, for me, it was more that I just, if I was getting home from work or getting home from the gym or getting home from wherever, I wanted to make sure that I had a beer in the fridge 
and uh, it was a, it's nice to come home and have a nice cold beer after you know hard workout or day at work or whatever. And uh, and I learned quickly that if I bought Guinness, nobody would drink the Guinness. And uh, and I didn't I mean I didn't hate it, but I didn't really care for it all that much. But I just knew it would be there. And then so uh, I developed a taste for it that summer. I drank Guinness and uh, Yingling Amber Lager. Those were my beers that summer. And uh, I still love Yingling. Whenever I'm back east, I, I I try to enjoy as much as I can, within reason, within the the scope of the constraints of responsibility, we'll say. This New York. Deep tobacco. You know, it ages well. Uh, the first one that I had, you know, I, I bought a box of these a few months ago, and uh, and they're really starting to hit their stride now. It was probably maybe four months ago I bought a box of these, and uh, I think I think that's about how long Alec Bradley's generally take, I think, to, to really hit their stride. But um, the first one that I had, I actually did uh, I did a pairing video with it, and um, I think it was just a pairing video. And it was it was funny because it was a cigar that was always on my like must try list. I always wanted to try the New York because I liked the Prince Otter and I liked the Tempest. And then one day I was digging through my humidor trying to find what I wanted to smoke that afternoon, and I found an Alec Bradley New York, and I had no idea where it came from. Uh, I'm sure I bought it somewhere. I don't think anybody gave it to me. I would probably remember that. So I must have bought it somewhere. So I have no idea how long it was in my humidor. And I don't know how long it would have been at the shop that I would have bought it from. I have no idea. But it was a very pleasant surprise to open my humidor and find a cigar that I was dying to try. And turns out I had all along. Interesting. But all in all, great cigar. So if you can try one, I definitely would. That's all I wanted to say tonight. I just wanted to come out with you, share this pairing, share my little my little story about uh, underage consumption. I'm sure you guys have them too. So anyway, you know, I appreciate you guys stopping by to hang out. Not a lot on my mind tonight, just uh, Thursday night, so I, I wish it were Friday. I'd really like to round out the week. But it's all good. A pretty great sunset tonight. And uh, I'll encourage you, if you're interested, Go follow my Instagram and my Facebook accounts. I, I, I post stuff on there more regularly than I do to YouTube. I don't post all the time, but um, now you can see what I'm up to, see what I'm smoking, see what I'm doing, see what I'm thinking. So go check out uh, my Instagram and my Facebook. Both are Poolside Cigar Reviews. And um, I think I've got links. I'll put links to them in the video description. So check those out. As always, comment. Love to hear what you guys are up to. Let me know what you're pairing. Let me know if you have any suggestions or what's going on. And uh, you can stay tuned for a, a, a good cigar review this weekend. I, uh, I already filmed the review, but I filmed I, I reviewed the uh, Romeo y Julieta 1875. So this is the Dominican Romeo and y Julieta. Haven't had one of those. I've been kind of revisiting lately. You know, kind of like Guinness Stout. You know, that, that's been kind of my mindset. Like I've been trying to go back to things that I used to like, or maybe some simpler, milder things. And that's both for for, you know, beer and spirits and cigars and just trying to, you know, I, I think it's good to periodically revisit just to see how your palate's changed. And a lot of times, you know, even though, like this Guinness Stout, uh, this is kind of lackluster, but I'll say more for cigars than for beer, you kind of remember why you enjoyed it. I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying this Guinness Stout. And I wish it were fuller. It just feels so thin and like force carbonated. I think it's the texture of the Guinness Stout that I just, is lacking. But uh, yeah, I think it's good to periodically revisit, just to see how you've changed, how your palate's changed, and even just to rediscover things. You know, a lot of times you'll say, "Oh, I, I used to really like that. Let me give it a try again," and you'll remember, "Yeah, I know why I like that because it's good." Anyway. Sorry, I'm not too upbeat tonight. I'm pretty tired today, so if, <laughs> if, I, if I sound like I'm dragging, it's because I am. So, anyway, I won't, uh, won't keep you guys any longer. I really appreciate you guys coming to hang out. Leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on in your world. Hopefully it's all good. Anyway, everybody, until next time, make sure you keep your feet in the pool. 
a drink in your hand and a cigar in your mouth. Take care.